God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Thursday, July 20th. Today's devotional, like yesterday's, is based on Psalm 77, verses 1 and 2, and then 11 to 20. I know, Psalm 77, two days in a row, huzzah! I cry aloud to God, aloud to God that he may hear me. In the day of my trouble I seek the Lord. In the night my hand is stretched out without wearying. My soul refuses to be comforted. I will call to mind the deeds of the Lord. I will remember your wonders of old. I will meditate on all your work and muse on your mighty deeds. Your way, O God, is holy. What God is so great as our God? You are the God who works wonders. You have displayed your might among the peoples. With your strong arm, you redeem your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. When the waters saw you, O God, when the waters saw you, they were afraid. The very deep trembled. The clouds poured out water. The skies thundered. Your arrows flashed on every side. The crash of your thunder was in the whirlwind. Your lightnings lit up the world. The earth trembled and shook. Your way was through the sea, your path through the mighty waters. Yet your footprints were unseen. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by P.C. Innes. Thus it becomes imperative that one remember truthfully which is always difficult because we have so much invested in our side of the story. In fact, no memory can ever be absolutely truthful or entirely trustworthy. Nonetheless, the effort must be made to remember truthfully and then to interpret the meaning of the memory in a wider context, not previously considered. Healing comes when one remembers truthfully, remembers therapeutically, and learns from the past. And we're left with this to ponder. When the memories of people fail due to disease or trauma, how can the church and the members of the church be the memory bank for others? Let us pray. When memory fails, let our hearts still trust in you. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional, and I hope you join me again tomorrow. But until next time, whenever that may be, I pray that you remain safe and healthy, and that wherever you go, whatever you do, whomever you meet, your words and actions speak only of a heart filled with love. God bless.